Hands in hand we come, Christopher Robin and I, to lay this book in your lap. So you're surprised? So you like it? Say it's just what you wanted? Because it's yours, because we love you. Once upon a time, a very long time ago, there was a boy named Christopher Robin who liked to play in a forest called the Hundred Acre Wood.
or maybe a large morsel. about. 
about poo. This is horrible. This note is simply terrifying. What does it say? I don't know. Then why is it terrifying? Because, because <coughs> Ella Alice finds you it's terrifying. So Pooh, Piglet, and Rabbit set off for Ella's house with the puzzling and terrifying note. Noise poo. Oh, say, Owl, while you're thinking, do you remember telling honey? Honey, <laughs> never touch that stuff. It causes the arteries and slows the mental process. But it tastes so good, Owl. Hush up and let Owl poo. Gone out, Baxin. Busy Baxin. Signed, Christopher Robin. Do you know what this note means? Who went and explained his 
clever plan to pick We're going to dig a hole in the ground and trap the bats in. That's a very clever plan, Pooh. I've been told it's the cleverest I've ever had. But once the bats in the sea tip it, won't he walk around it? That's a very good point, Piglet. Maybe we just type it and make it like like a jar of honey? Honey. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Yeah! I'm not sure the facts is like honey, Pooh. Oh. But everyone likes picnics. Maybe we should hide the pit and make it look like a picnic. That's a very clever idea, Piglet. So Pooh and Piglet dug a hole in the ground, covered it with a cloth, and made it look like a picnic. Typical 
backs and stretching, I'd say this requires serious thinking. But well, Al was seriously thinking a lot of other creatures that once fell in the backs and trap, like frogs, skunks, ladybugs, and birds. Like we've captured a whole family of accents. Oh my, they don't sound very happy. Maybe we should just leave them there. We have to find Mr. Robin Piglet. Of course, but let's stay back where the Baxons can't see us. Good idea. Baxon! Baxon? They're Baxons, all right. I told you to trap my Baxons. The Baxons are surrendered. Who? That's good. Help us out so we can discuss our terms of surrendering. That Baxon sure sounds an awful lot like Owl. He does, doesn't he? I suppose we better help them out so they can lead us to Christopher Robin. Pretending to be a Baxit? What are you in our Baxit trap? Your Baxit trap? We don't get to trap the Baxits. And it looks like you trapped every single creature in these woods except for the Baxin. The animals that I'm trying to bring you away out of the bed. Which was not a very nice place to be. No, it's not. Blap! I know, it's practically afternoon snack time. <coughs> so Pooh tried to keep his mind off of his growling tummy. Thinking is hard. So Pooh tried remembering instead. He remembered a song Christopher Robin used to sing to him. Halfway down the stairs is a stair where I sit. There isn't any other stair quite like it. I'm not Tell us 
up back. Uh huh. Maybe I could have reread the documentary a bit more carefully, as my niece Leticia would say. Sorry. I guess even owls can make mistakes. But at least we've got Grace to her up and back again. Not for long, I'm afraid. Afraid? I knew it was too good to be true. It's going to be autumn soon, and I'll be going back to school, which means I won't have as much time to play with you guys as I used to. Forever? Not forever, Rue. We'll still have nights and weekends, and when next summer comes around, we'll spend every day together. <laughs> but that summer's a long way away. Well, breakfast and lunch times and afternoon snacks away. That's why I'm out here today, so we can have one last summer picnic. Yay! A picnic! So Christopher Robin and the animals set out a picnic. They were all really excited! Because it was a really cool picnic. It was even better than what I had for my birthday. Everyone brought something to share. Including lemonade and cookies and raspberry chocolate. Excuse me. Yes, Pooh. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so, Pooh. Sorry, Pooh. My mother was all out of honey. Oh, bother. Maybe someone else has some. I've asked all my friends. Have you asked them? The bees? I never thought they would be willing to share. Maybe if you invited them to our picnic. Hey, bees? Yes? Would you like to come to our picnic? Sure, bees love picnics. Should we bring anything? Maybe some honey? Sure, anything for our friends. Honey, honey, honey.
eight that go to school all over the district. Some of them go to school here. You might see some familiar faces, but a lot of them don't go to school here. So guys, when I call your school, just stand on up and we can give them a little round of applause, okay? Uh, Hathi Elementary students. And Good Pace. And Walt Disney. And Passmore. And Mark Twain. And Nelson. And last but not least, your Alvin Elementary kids. And we want to thank all of the directors that work on this project with us. We have Mr. Scott running sound. There he is. And we've got Miss Sunny. She's our lead director. Go ahead and follow your teachers, only fifth grade, no one else should be standing. 